The squad making sure we all win. Smoke a lot, radio, we going all in. Silla, I'm the host with the most smoke. Rolling up the most dope. Kato got the most dope. Simone Taylor, keep it sexy for the grown folks. I'm OG, tone low, bouncing on them ghost folks. Smoke, we the number one podcast. Some other shows, all trash. Amber Rose, all ass. Broadcasting live from the coast. Sick of Mitty with the jokes. Come and get your ass, bro. <laughs> Speaking of what happened, man, let's get to Nate Dog, man. Your relationship with Nate Dog started on so ignorant. You two is the hook masters, man. Did you really get to build a relationship with Nate Dog before he passed? Yeah, 1991 when he auditioned. I knew he was going to go somewhere. I knew he said, I was like, damn, hush. Man, Dog be busting. He was freestyling. I was like, that nigga hard, my nigga. I said, and, and that style that uh, Nate got, man, that, that dude sound like Steve Arrington. He's like a modern day, you know, he's just got something with his voice that that, that is, uh, it commands that, that, that presence, what he's saying, like real comfortable, you know, keeping it gangster, but at the same time, staying suited and booted, sharp, you know what I mean? So I knew that in 91. Then years later, when we mixed it up, we did songs that you did, did uh, some classic songs on the East Siders. And uh, back when when I went to Dog, because um, little half there, we went over Nate Dog spot first. And uh, I hopped out the car. Well, I didn't hop out the car. Little half there had hopped out the car because which car lived in Pomona. You know, Nate Dog at that time down the street and around the corner from Snoop Dogg's house in Claremont. And uh, first thing, what you call said is like, nigga, what that nigga doing here? <laughs> he said About that you? to me. Yeah, because <laughs> we never did. It wasn't like, you know what I mean? It was the time where me and Snoop rekindled, you know, our friendship. But ah. I ain't yet to rekindle the friendship yeah. with Nate. Right? Yeah. So, so look. <laughs> so look, he found out who I was with. I was with some real runners and gunners, Street Institute. Pomino Block Crips doing their thing. Rest in peace, hat. Uh, big ups to Al Dog. Silk was over there. Um, all kind of people was over there, man. So I said, man, I, man, I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping on cuz like, nigga, I'm way past that shit. I don't mean that's what I'm telling him. So he invited me in, and we seen eye to eye, and we seen like, hey, ain't no problem, brother. You know what I mean? And we start building in his little studio and there he had his little yak deer and his little smoke smoke. <coughs> and um, he said, man, do me a favor, man. I got to get this up out of there. This girl called a whoop whoop on me. This nigga gave me a bag full of guns. And I could have, I could not, I, I could have said, nah, nigga, we finna ride through <laughs> Upland? Upland, California? Is you crazy? So I said, fuck it, cuz. I was like, that was kind of tilted anyway. I said, fuck it, cuz. So I, I I took all that shit in the back of my cellar like a damn fool through Upland, California. I'm talking about that Man. whitey, white, 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 white. Up that 10. Yeah, so I dropped it off to the homies, and then we grew a respect from there. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it was it was cool, man. How That's a cold way to happened. hook back up with a nigga. Take a bag of guns. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. We, we put that shit in the back of the Celica and me and Lil Ab there trucked it up to the studio. And then what up, Ab did? Nothing but respect. Yeah, Ab did, man. What up, Ab did? That's my nigga, man. That nigga done recorded on this mic right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a, per he's a personal friend to smoke a lot radio. We <laughs> fucked with Ab did. That's the behind the scene nigga that, that's the glue. Half dead always been the glue. It's certain yeah. niggas that behind the scene that's the glue and niggas don't never give props to, man. Get props yeah, to half because, dead, my nigga. Because Straight he don't up. want, he don't want to the kite to Snoop. He was like, nigga, need to hook in with cocaine. See? Lil' Half Dead did that. Lil' Half Dead. I ain't even know that. See, he he, yep. he bridged the gap. You heard <laughs> it here first. Yeah, you mm -hmm. gotta give Lil' Half Dead his props, my nigga, period. 
And Snoop yeah. always mentioned that nigga. And Snoop keep him around. That mean he a solid nigga. Period. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, they're they're brothers. You know, that's what brothers do. You know what I mean? Right. He bring he brings a certain type of uh, likeness around, and that's what that's what good fellowship and friendship is. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Tabernacle. Tabernacle. Like Don Juan, man. Preach. When he comes come around motherfucking Snoop, man. It's like Snoop is it, goddamn uh what the what the what the rappers be having, man, when they got a preacher or something, an advisor, <laughs> a spiritual advisor. Yeah. yeah Don you know, Juan somebody like to help Snoop. you out. Yeah, Don Juan is like Snoop's spiritual advisor, my nigga. You need an OG, man, mm-hmm. from from the cloth, man. I always let you know when you're off your square. Period. And that's what niggas like you. Niggas like motherfucking Snoop, niggas like uh, 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 Ice Cube, you know what I mean? The OGs, you know what I mean? Laylaw, Gomag, DOC. This is what motherfuckers mm-hmm. here to give you game and lace your boots so you don't motherfucking trip and, and fuck up. Period. You know what I mean? Stay on your square, my nigga. And then for niggas to make it a, 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 a funk, you know what I mean? For motherfuckers to be old in hip hop, that, that's the wildest shit, man. How do you Good. feel about the youngsters? Making it like a meme or bad to be a old nigga still getting <coughs> nigga. That's a pop. That's a compliment because too many niggas running around trying to be three Pac. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Factoids. Yeah. And Pac wanted to live. You know, he, he just had the untimely, unfortunate passing. You know what I mean? But you know, it's like a sperm cell trying to get to the egg. All of them don't, but one. You know what I'm saying, Pippin? And right, that's right. what that that's what's happening. Like. It's like it's sad that a lot of brothers is gonna go under it always implicating itself. And it's just like they being moved around like cattle, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? But we here to reach out of ten at least two or three solid niggas that's gonna pay attention and even look at the blueprint that Nip was saying to according to his generation. It's like everybody ain't gonna listen because this game ain't for everybody. You know what I mean? But you don't think it's the, the Willie Lynch, you know, the weird. I never thought, like, when I read the Willie Lynch letter and I seen that they said that it'd be young against old, female against male, male against female, female, you know what I mean? Like, it's that, you know what I mean? You got the lesbian, I mean, whatever, you know, whatever the letter called, you got yeah. the, the whole shit going on, you know, they do marriages and shit. You got the, if, like, the youngsters are going against their parents. Not only right. just against hip hop, like you, your youngsters will call the cops on your ass if you try to discipline it. You know what I mean? Well, so so I'll show you, I'll show you where the music is at is where the mentality of the millenniums is at. Whatever is yeah. popular, it's gonna pop off. Now that we ain't finna sit here and say we ain't came with that gangster shit or that player shit, but the only thing you gotta look at the two short record. One of his biggest records was, was the ghetto. You understand? It's like we had a yeah. balance. And when yeah. that balance got offset because of the internet, making internet. every Tom, Dick, and Harry and Weirdo feel like they validated. Microwave, it just, ra- it microwave just rappers. The, it just put that weirdo shit on steroids. And it, yeah. <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> overshadows some things, you know? But now the universe called everything back, y'all. You know, these youngsters is really paying attention and it, everything runs in cycles. Everybody have their moments. You understand? But the moment I would say that Kelly imprint put down, man, reach across the world. You could see people, you know, in every part of any city, red, blue, or low riding, or wearing our language and talking that, that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. We yeah. had a large impact on the world. And still to this day, because now the world is starting to revert back to this Cali sound. Straight yeah. face. Back doors. Say that shit again. What you lied to say. Revert back to what? This Cali sound. Hey, man, from, from <coughs> up top to the bottom, my nigga. Period. Straight up. Straight up. Mm. Um, speaking of, of, of influences of rap, how do you feel about this murder rap shit that's going down? Not to cut you off, Kato. I know you got questions, but no, it's all feel, good. How do you feel about this this murder <laughs> rap shit that where motherfuckers talk about murdering somebody, <coughs> you, know, and, and, you know, after they done murdered them and then go platinum? Like, how do you feel about that? The that's rap? that that's the lowest gray aura, low bottom toe toe 
eat pig guts on a Sunday by the slave master. That is the yeah. most, you know what I'm saying? The most fucked up shit when 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 you when we we, we was raised and, and you, granny would have it, it would be a bunch of gangbangers outside she say take that shit down the street now they shooting granny they shooting granny. you know what i'm saying so the grandkids these, are shooting granny these are strange times we living in the shelf space is small and it's not going to stop it's going to increase but at the same time it's always light at the end of a dark tunnel you know what I mean? It's it's like I don't know what it is, man. I, but I've never seen <coughs> so much love in the '92 riots. Or I've never seen so much love when Nip at Nip funeral. Yeah, funeral. So I believe, even though I don't have an answer, I believe something go- gonna have to come to wake some of these youngsters up because it's just it's just too much going on, and uh, it's putting out the wrong. Wrong frequencies. Oh my mama.